Welcome to the World Register. The World Register is an independent news source providing truthful, unbiased, and timely reporting about people, places, and events. Reuters News Agency reports today that North Korea said its newly developed intercontinental ballistic missile can carry a large nuclear warhead. A spokesman for the U.S. Defense Department said it had concluded that North Korea on Tuesday test launched an ICBM, which some experts believe has the range to reach Alaska and the Pacific Northwest of the United States. The U.S. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson said the test represented a new escalation of the threat to the United States and its allies and vowed to take stronger measures. The UN Security Council, currently chaired by China, will hold an emergency meeting on North Korea at 3 p.m. on Wednesday requested by the United States, Japan, and South Korea. The state KCNA news agency reported that North Korean leader Kim Jong-un said that the test completed his country's strategic weapons capability that includes atomic and hydrogen bombs and ICBMs. As reported by RT, Cold War era Russian strategic bombers have conducted strikes on Islamic State targets in Syria using modern KH-101 strategic cruise missiles. Several weapons stockpiles and a terrorist command center were destroyed in the strike. Russian Air Force Tu-95MS strategic bombers, which entered service in 1956, have conducted strikes on Islamic State positions near the border of Syrian Hama and Homs provinces on Wednesday. According to the report, Russian KH-101 airborne strategic missiles were used in the strike. While the effective range of the missiles is up to 2,800 miles, the strikes were conducted from a range of around 600 miles. Missiles of this type can be fitted with nuclear warheads, after which they receive the KH-102 designation. Escorted by SU-30SM fighter aircraft based at the Kemmem Air Base in Syria, the Tu-95MS bombers took off from an airbase near the southern Russian city of Engels and made their way to Syria after airborne refueling. And the Telegraph reports today that Austria has deployed armored vehicles close to its border with Italy and will send up to 750 soldiers to block any migrants trying to head north. Officials said the soldiers could be rushed to the border within 72 hours if there was a migration emergency. Austria said it would ramp up border controls at the Brenner Pass, a key trade and transport route through the Alps that connects the two countries. The move prompted a rebuke from Rome, with the Italian Foreign Ministry summoning Austria's ambassador to explain the troop movements. Italy has warned in the past that such measures could contravene European Union rules on free movement. Italy has asked for assistance from the European Union to help with the huge number of asylum seekers who continue to cross the Mediterranean from Libya. More than 85,000 migrants have been rescued from overcrowded vessels by non-government organizations and brought to Italy.